the most high Yah emotions are incorruptible. What's going on, family? Welcome back to another Real Talk. I pray y'all are doing well as we give the most high Yah all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. Love the comments on the video I did. Um, does the most high get impatient? I love the videos. Uh, I mean, the uh, comments, excuse me. And I want to do this part two because I got a few emails behind that about it sounds like it was it's confusion. <laughs> and I understand why. But let me break it down in, in a better way. And I should have said this in the part one video. It's just like when you hear me express in my old videos say, we serve, we, we serve a jealous God. When I talk about the emotions of the Holy Spirit, not like I was. When I say he's jealous, he has a righteous jealousy. He has a righteous judgment. First of all, the Holy Spirit cannot sin. Now, when Yahshua was in the flesh, yes, he had emotions. He got angry. He got tired. He felt a whole lot. He cried out. Same thing we do. But the Almighty, I am that I am, as he told Moses. The Bible say that 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 God is spirit, right? And those of us that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And this is why oftentimes on the page we talk about do not grieve the Holy Spirit. See, even with his anger, when it burns, it's righteous. For somebody who created everything and cannot sin, so I can't put myself in the category even though I'm made in his image. And what do I mean by this? When we get mad, angry, sad, frustrated, some get depressed, nine times out of ten it's based off of something physical in this world that you're feeling. Or somebody in your family done done something to you. Somebody done made you mad. You know, somebody done did this and done that. And you feel you feel a certain type of way. Not like that with the Most High. Once again, the Most High does not sin. Does he get mad at his creation? Yes. But do he have emotions? Yes. But you got to realize his emotions, once again, are incorruptible. When you look throughout the Old Testament, you see the emotions of the Holy Spirit all throughout the Old Testament, many scriptures. And when you think about America, how far wicked America have gotten, sin, unrepented sin, wickedness, abominations, everything that his holy words say don't do, this system allows it and justified to be okay. Knowing it's just so far wicked. So, and I like Brother Rodney, oh man, I love your comment that you left on that, on that part one video because he's outside of time. Most high ain't worried about no time. And somebody else left a beautiful comment about how everything is already put in play to happen. When he created it all, he knew what was gonna happen. He knew exactly what was going to happen. And he's so set apart, so holy, that I can't even put enough words together to explain to you the power, the set apartness of the Holy Spirit. That man could never get on that level to be holy like that because of flesh. That man, we can try all we can and we still fall at times. You've never read once where the Holy Spirit committed sin. And that's something to think about. So when you start talking about emotions, think about that. Holy Spirit can't sin. The Holy Spirit is all knowing. The Holy Spirit know me better than I know myself. So when it comes down to things like this, we have to realize he's very different than the way we are. Even though we are we, we, we love our Heavenly Father, you know, we, we, we adore Him. We, we obey Him, we sacrifice, we worship Him, we praise Him. But even with all that being said, we, we, we fast, we, we pray, we try our best to live, excuse me, as righteous as we can. 
And even with that being said, I still can't match up. Not in this flesh. But I try to do my best. Do all I can and why I can because one day I'm going to take my last breath. So that's why Brother Anthony always say this on here. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Don't. The old folks will say don't fall into the hands of the angry of the, of an angry God. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and thank y'all once again uh, for all the prayers. And y'all see my, my family is back. Um, they back in town. And I've been, we've been enjoying each other. That's why I got a few more days left from not being on live chat. It hurt like hell not to be on here with y'all. But I'm giving that time to my wife and my children. But it, it's hard, man, because that's how much I love y'all. And I thank y'all you know, once again, for helping me get through these last three months with my family being gone, you know, down down in Memphis for the summer. So they back safe and sound, and we we having a good time, man. And, and I just love y'all for understanding and being patient. But it, it, it is hard. Diddy, Diddy told me last night, go on, get on. You know you miss him. I said, yeah, I do, but I'm going to stick to my, my little promise that I made. So that's why I'm not on live chat. But uh, next week we'll be back. And I'll give y'all some notifications to let you know when you... So with that being said, family, I love y'all. Y'all take care and have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.